Hi out there, welcome to my series of five tutorials that will show you how you can do multi-camera editing in post-production. The footage that we will be using was shot during a live event with four different cameras recording continuously. The post-production we are going to do here in this tutorial will be done with Nero Video, which is part of Nero Platinum Multimedia Suite. Step by step you will get to know how you can import and arrange your camera sources into a video project, how you can match the AV sync between the different sources, how you can match color balance and lighting of the different sources, how you can make use of an audio master track and intercut the different scenes of the four different tracks, and also how you can add titles and do some final effect adaptation as global effects. Finally, we will show you which export settings you should use so that you get a good quality for sharing your video on YouTube. Okay, before we go into the project, I would like to give you some background of the material that was shot. I'm a singer of a pop jazz choir and we were to have a concert and somebody said, why don't we shoot it and put it on YouTube? I said, well, just using one camera will be difficult because the uh, quality will not be very nice and just the wide angle will be very boring for the people. So, but there was also no chance that one of us could operate any camera, camera because all of us had to sing and we are 35 people, so it's a big, a big choir. Said, so, okay, if we could get different cameras and arrange these in defined positions on tripods and pick up different angles of the choir, while the choir is performing and do some editing in post-production, that would maybe give us quite an appealing video. And we said, okay, let's try to do it. Uh, finally, we got four different cameras, a Sony VG900, an HDV camcorder, two GoPros. So the setup and the scenario was quite challenging, uh, especially as we also did not have time to do any white balancing up front because we just had to practice our singing. So, a challenge for the post-production, but you will see that it can be done fairly easily in your video. So let's start with the first tutorial where we want to import and arrange the material in the project. In this project we want to edit the footage of four different cameras and create one song of the stage performance as a video for sharing on YouTube. Initially, we have imported all the footage from the different cameras to our PC hard disk. We have already sorted out the files that relate to the one song we want to edit and named the files accordingly. Now, we open Nero Video via Nero Start, select Advanced Editing, click the Import button and import all the selected files from the folder into the My Media Library. For three of our cameras capturing to SD cards, the footage for our song was stored in two different files each. This is due to the file size limitations when recording to SD cards. Only the HDV camera has all the footage in one file that we captured from digital HDV tape with the Nero Video Capture module up front. Let's quickly use the pre-trim feature here to make a rough cut of the required editing points before we go into timeline editing. By double clicking on the clip, we can simply do this from the preview window and set mark in points and mark out points roughly matching the beginning and end of the recorded song per camera. We add some pre and post time to be on the safe side. These trim points are retained as you move each clip on a timeline track and they are very helpful for faster AV sync. More on that later. For this project in Nero Video we make use of the advanced editing multi-track mode which will open with two standard video audio tracks by default. 
As we have four camera sources, initially we will add two more tracks by clicking on New Track, New Video Audio Track. These tracks will appear as Video Audio 3 and Video Audio 4, top of the timeline. Now we can think about how to arrange the camera sources inside of the multi-track timeline. We have two main cameras. Camera 1 picked up the left hand side of the choir, camera 2 the right hand side. We will intercut mainly between these two cameras. Camera 3 picked up the long shot from the front and camera 4 picked up the audience. This priority will define the track layout in our project. Since cameras 1 and 2 are most important, we are dropping the footage from camera 1 to video audio track 4, camera 2 to video audio track 3, camera 3 to video audio track 2 and camera 4 to video audio track 1. We are leaving some wiggle room at the beginning for each track as we need to match and move the position of each camera track later on. Now the track layout resembles the importance of the footage but the naming of each track is upside down compared to the order of our cameras. We can simply rename the header to match the camera naming by right clicking on the name and changing it for each track. The track layout per se and the overlay order will remain untouched when renaming tracks. As we are also going to add a master audio to the music track later, let's rename the music track too. Now we are almost set for the next important step, which is syncing the audio tracks. But before we go there, we will switch the timeline to extended view, which will show the audio waveform of each camera audio track and this will give us quite a good visual clue as to where we are time-wise within the recorded sound per track. Before we start with the next step, let's save the project. Ok, now we are ready with part 1 of our tutorials and the next part is AV Sync in multi-camera editing which is a very important thing to do because otherwise you cannot do any editing at all. So make sure to check the next part of our multi-camera tutorial series. Bye bye. <music>